Welcome back. Well, an official announcement from President Joe Biden about him running for re-election could soon be coming. The president's aides are saying this could come as early as next week. ABC's Lindsay Watts has the latest on the race for the White House. This coming Tuesday will be four years since President Joe Biden announced he was seeking the Democratic nomination for President of the United States. We're learning Democratic donors are being invited to D.C. with strategy sessions planned for later next week. My intention is from, has been, been from the beginning to run, but there's too many other things they have to finish in the near term before I start a campaign. Many voters have voiced concern about Biden's handling of the economy, including inflation and the situation at the southern border. And Biden's age could be a factor. He would be 82 at the start of his second term. The Democratic Party is largely united behind Biden. So far, just two Democrats have announced long shot bids to challenge him, Marianne Williamson and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. On the Republican side, a number of candidates have announced, including former President Trump. I am your warrior. I am your justice. Who said indictments won't stop him from running. Also on the Republican side, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley and ex-Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson are running. Conservative radio host Larry Elder, who unsuccessfully ran for governor of California, he threw his hat in the ring last night. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to enter the race. And South Carolina Senator Tim Scott has taken steps toward a possible run. Lindsay Watts, ABC News, Washington.